Hey everybody, it's February the 9th, 2017. Uh, what I want to talk to you all about tonight is how uh, the Acacia Strains uh, supposedly latest song, I don't know if they have new newer songs or not, but um, is about me and Alex Jones and um, basically the fact that I basically have had somewhat of an emotional breakdown I guess you could say I wasn't really going to go there and say all that but you know I mean it's what he said I, it's basically what he said in the video or in the song is that I had an emotional breakdown over this and he's pretty much right he's pretty much right um, to be honest and you know the last video I made it was about how Vincent Bennett is a um, part of a he's he came out of New York City and uh, he admits that he's a wolf in sheep's clothing and he has talked about how he wants me dead uh, and I made a whole video about how really I think he's a wolf in sheep's clothing and he's up to no good but and even even in this video even this song that he made is about really I keep saying video because the only music videos he made off of the best album he ever made was attack videos, was attack songs about me. He had this whole album that was just the best ever, and it was almost like, please, Jewish establishment of New York City, know that I am, or, you know, Judaism is really just, is just a radical religion that promotes the worship of government and uh, other things, but or the obedience of government. Um, it, that's just another story altogether, but, you know, please, please, New York City establishment, know that, that I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing, and, and I said all this to, but he doesn't really have to say that, it's just, it's just endeavoring to make his point. And, um, the point of the story is really just that, you know, Alex Jones is, I mean, if you'll just look at the last few videos that I posted before they put out that song, Sensory Deprivation, then you'll know that the song is about me. And the point of the story is that this is the third song they've made about me, okay? Um... Basically, all along, I was just getting in the way of the government, and uh, these people were coming, you know, coming across like libertarians, only to attack me, and then they said they were wolves in sheep's clothing. Um, it's just, really, what I want to say is the point, the real point of the story is that Alex Jones is a fraud. The real point I want to make tonight is that Alex Jones is a fraud. And the reason I want to say that is because I know that once I've established, uh, established a, you know, it's kind of like an opportunity I have to go ahead and make this video. Once I can establish a position of prominence, now what I have to say will matter to Alex Jones. Because Alex Jones gets on, on the radio and he's like, I got Donald Trump on the phone, guys, calling me. And, and, you know, I got the Supreme Court calling me, guys. You know? It's like, I've got some of the best musicians in the world writing songs, uh, jealous, jealous uh, attack songs against me. Talking about, you think you're such a badass... You know, because I'm in such a position of prominence already. And really, a lot of that's due to you, Alex. While you're sitting there trying to to um, to commit this whitewash against me, to commit this this snow job that you're that you're this adulteration of my message that you're you're committing intentionally. And just as Alex Jones, when he made a video against Glenn Beck several years ago called the Glenn Beck Secret, and he said, you know, the, the Glenn Beck is adulterating my message. He knows that George Soros is a mid-level player at best. And if you'll listen to the frantic, frantic 
um, promotion of George Soros as 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 the progenitor of, of all of our problems from Alex Jones. You would think that George Soros ran the Federal Reserve. You would think that George Soros birthed the Federal Reserve from his loins and gave rise to it and he's, you know, a 10,000-year-old dragon by the time uh, by the time Alex Jones gets done telling you what's going on. And that and I just made a video and I just and I just played over and over again 35 minutes of Alex Jones saying George Soros is a mid-level player at best. It's disgusting. George Soros he says George Soros is a mid-level level player at best. He said he says George Soros is 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 um the creator of all these problems when he's a mid-level player at best. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. He said this when he's a mid-level player. I just play it's just over and over and over and over and over again just to get it into your head how ridiculous this is. Okay, because because he because he whenever he sits there and he tells you that George Soros is the middle of all your problems, is the center of all your problems. He's saying that because he knows it's a lie. Okay? That's my problem with Alex Jones, okay? And you would think that after everything the Acacia strain has done to me that I hate them more than anybody, but really I hate Alex Jones more than anybody. Because he's such a traitor, he's such a snake in the grass. You know, he's such a snake in the grass. And, and... I just want to emphasize that again, Alex Jones damn well knows, Alex Jones damn well knows that George Soros is not the middle of all of our problems. And see, all I'm doing is taking and, and, and expressing this, really, it's an incredibly valid message. That's the, another reason why the Acacia Strain is attacking me right now. They want me to give up and commit suicide, is what they want. That's what the song is really about. Because why are they even attacking me in the first place? It doesn't even make any sense. You know, but it's gotten so crazy because I'm doing such a good deed or I'm making such a vast revelation. And, I, and you know, I knew I was going to have to go into it, which Alex Jones has basically made it to where I just don't even want to talk about it anymore. But basically, you know, I would use Pharisees as a talking point. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but basically the, I would just use the word Pharisees all the time. In my message, and then the next day he would just inject Pharisees, 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 and the whole point is it sounds ridiculous, but it, if you really think about it, it really makes sense because what they're trying to do is take my message and associate it with them, knowing that people are instinctively looking for leaders. So if they see me as a person who's looking for a leader, then oh, okay, yeah, that's normal. We're all doing that. I'll look at Alex Jones; he'll be my leader. You see what I mean? And so, to you, it may seem, oh, wow, that sounds stupid or crazy, but really, they know how we think at a primitive level, and they treat us like cattle, and they run us around like this, and they and they commit these, you know, these incredible, you know, just... At the end of the day, I think what's really bothered me more than anything is just the fact that they're doing it more than what it's really going to even do to my message to be honest with you, because it's so breathtaking to know that somebody's actually doing that, you know? And um, to, to know, you know, that you would take and adulterate the message of Christ, you know, and sit there and promote Jesus Christ as your, as your God all day. I mean, people get pissed off about religion, and you're really, you're really pissing me off right now. And um, to be honest with you, um... You know, it's just unbelievable, you know, what you're willing to do. You're just the, the most, you're the bottom of the barrel. You know what I mean? You are the gutter creep, um, l loser, slouch, you know, that sits around looking for, you know, just scraping the barrel for ways to screw society, you know? I mean, you are the absolute, you know, an enemy at the gates is is worse than what you are. A wolf in sheep's clothing who comes along pretending to be good, only to inject negativity into your message. You know, to get in, to get in, you know, and then poison the water supply.
because you look innocent. You're sick. And I hate your guts. And, uh, you know, what I want to say is that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if I say, you know, uh, just as an example, a death is this, one death is a statistic, but a one death is a tragedy, but a thousand is, is a statistic, you know, but it always has to do with ending the drug war. But then whenever you get a hold of it, it's just something for you to just wipe your ass with and spin it around a thousand times a day. It doesn't mean shit, you know? And and then you get Ron Paul on the fucking air and sit there and, you know, oh, what do you think about, well, I, you know, there's somewhere we can be in disagreement with, is what he said. He said, there's somewhere we can disagree. I don't, and, he, and, then, and then Alex Jones, like a good little boy, well, I think Donald Trump will do whatever's necessary. And don't you think that because we started this that we should go into these countries? It's just a total opposite, you know? And and he's like, no, because then we get in there and we create all these problems and then we, we have, and then all that. And he's like, and Alex is like, yeah, okay, okay, you're down the road thinking. What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, okay, you're down the road thinking. What the fuck does that even mean? You know? It's just, it's, it's like you didn't even try. You know, it's like you didn't even try to, to come across like like you were trying to even be honest at all. It's just, ugh. Just say whatever. Ugh, you're down the road. Yeah, down the fucking road, Alex. We like to look down the fucking road, idiot. How's that for a fucking big mu fucking mistake? Wow, we looked down the fucking road and thought about what was going to happen after we did it. That was a fucking mistake. You stupid ass. Because Alex knows that it's wrong. And he isn't going to sit there. It's like it's like a weak attempt, you know? Because he's because he's not he doesn't even really want to try. When you know you're that wrong, you don't even really want to try. And you know I mean like I said, I didn't really want to make this video and just You know, I'm just tired of dealing with the occasional strains bullshit in so many ways. And, you know, this right here, honestly, is acceptable in the grand scheme of things because at least you're not stalking me. You know what I mean? At least you're not making a song called The Hills Eyes Have Eyes in, in which you fucking stalk me. And, um, in which you stalk me and my fucking girlfriend and then give me and list out all the details of my life since I was 21 years old. Or make a song called, uh, you know, make another song where you're like, We're wolves in sheep's clothing. We know everything about you. We want you dead. There's people that want you dead. I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. Get a fucking grip. You know? I mean, you think that I don't even care about that. I don't even give a shit. You know? All, all I want people to know is that I know that you know. Okay? All right? So we can get that fucking clear and shut the fuck up, okay? Stop making all my software glitch out and shit as soon as I start sitting down to make a YouTube video. All of a sudden, my fucking Xbox just quits working. So people just have to just, like, let me know that they know. I know you know, man. I know you know. You know? I don't fucking care, okay? I mean, at this point, I just feel like giving up on the whole fact of getting you out of my life and just establish just I know, okay? Because when I leave my fucking house, there's going to be people peeking through their blinds that are that have nothing but a job but to sit around on and sleeping on cots. I literally caught people sleeping on cots. In the apartment next to me, three people sleeping on cots and made a video about it with evidence in there and, and pictures if you'd like to see it. And you can see my reflection in the in the rear view of the truck with the with the with the with the bed in my truck and you see these people walking out with cots. And it's just it's just beyond my imagination and, and, and I'm just not impressed, you know what I mean? I just I just don't know, I just do not care anymore. I just want you motherfuckers to realize, okay, okay, I run up a white flag, I get it. You're there, okay? I mean just do something else. Just do another trick. Learn another trick. <laughs>